This is Fox. Hello, so I just want to do like a video about Fox. A few people, a few people ask me, well, people actually frequently ask me why I have invested in Fox. And the answer is mostly there's not a lot of reason. This is a lot of this investment was done in 2019, early 2020. Um, it was like said, mostly for like, this was mostly done for adventures because I needed like a physical attacker and I just kind of like Fox. But the problem is Fox, like said, is her main uh, benefit is that she buffs armor penetration for a long, long time. She was just one of three heroes in the game who buffed armor penetration. The other two options for armor penetration buffing were Chin Mao and Elmir. And like I said, so she had a role there. Um, that was generally the main reason why you would want Fox. And so she was pretty good, like for like you know some of those anti-magic uh, nodes in adventures. But a lot of this stuff I put into her was a long, long, long time ago. Um, I've always thought she was kind of a cool-looking hero. Like, I think I have her skins done too. Yeah, I actually have all of her skins done too. But uh. Yeah, no, it's like I said, and the main thing about her, though, is that uh, she has this ability called Heavy Caliber. This fires huge projectile on the owner's target, uh, dealing physical damage and throwing the target back. Um, so this pushes, like, generally pushes the main tank of the opposing team uh, pretty much, you know, past, like I said, to, like, the middle. Um, and the thing is, with this ability, right, like I said, there's also some other modifiers. Um, right, so she has this Heavy Caliber right here. Right, so when she takes like, with the theme, the concussion, right, she uses heavy caliber. Um, it actually stuns the target for five seconds. So now the tank's not just pushed back, they're now stunned and can't do anything for several seconds. Um, so this is, like I said, you know, is a way to expose like the mid lane. Um, like I said, if you have, they have, they have like a squishy hero in the second space, you can now uh, just go and cut them down. Um, Right, like said, she also has like an anti-physical attacker team. She, thing. she has a smoke screen that blinds the front line for six seconds. And this one also is uh, hits the nearest target six times. So this also, if there's a tank there, but or if the main tank's been pushed back and she uses this, she now gets to hit a softer target um, for like some heavy hits. Right, and like I said, she has a chance she can crit. She's a crit hero. She's a critter. She does have really good armor penetration. Plus she buffs armor pen. Like I said, she's always, like I said, that's a high, look at her armor pen. She's always had really high armor pen. And she buffs armor pen with her artifacts. Like I said, she has, like I said, glyphs, armor pen glyphs. You know, critical hit, physical attack, agility, and then she has armor. Um, pretty solid, like her ascension, like is probably, I've never really, I've never actually looked at her tree, but I'm sure it's a whole lot of armor pen and stuff. It's like a lot of armor pen nodes, a lot of crit nodes. Whole lot of crit, whole lot of armor pen. Not a lot of armor or anything. She was always kind of squishy. Like, even with the health skin, she has really low health. Said so she's a fragile hero. She's like said, but uh, she's in the back line. Right? And it's kind of the other interesting thing is that she is the only armor pen buffer who uh, is in the back line, which uh, for a long time, like said, even with like newer heroes like Morgan and Isaac, like there's a lot of times that's relevant because. She's like the only one that will sit. That she's literally the only armor pen hero that sits behind Nebula, right? If you want to put Nebula with like um, certain heroes, where's Fox? Fox is here, right? She sits behind. So if you don't want to mess up, like a Nebula line, like say you want to use like um, El Isaac. Where sorry, sorry, um, so Ishmael, but it's like you can't use Isaac. Here, if you want to do that and not mess up your line or Morgan. Um, let's see where we got Morgan. See, that's his between. Ba -ba -ba. Isaac sits between. Sheen Mouse sits between. Right, so there's a lot of reasons. So Fox, like I said, you know, can sit behind and farmer penetration from the back. So this was relevant for a long time. Now you have Tristan who... Actually, just sits between high tanks. Unless you're trying to buff a tank with Nebula, which is you probably got to use Fox on lines. You know, Tristan's probably better for most lines. Uh, the exception might be, like I said, if you're trying to tank with Ishmael. So maybe there's still a role for her in Ishmael lines. Um, so that's kind of like the main, like one of the main advantages. Plus, she for a long time she was just one of three options for armor pen. Um, so that's the thing. Um, so let's go back to here. Um. 
wanted to read her scene. Nobody has ever seen an expression of anger or doubt on this cute face. On the contrary, Fox is like a bright light in the darkness, filling her allies' hearts with joy and courage. Once she grabs her gun, the enemy has no chance. So she also has that engineer thing, which is kind of a pointless tag because, you know, Isaac buffs armor pen. So there's no reason to really bring uh, Fox in. Also, Ginger's a pretty bad hero as well, so... Not a lot, but said she fights the back line. That's generally the main reason you'd want to use her. But um, the like, her main issue, right? So her main ability, though, like to push back the enemy tank. Like, so let's just like said is, right? There's no Sebastian here because Sebastian actually is a major pro obstacle to her. But before Sebastian was an obstacle to her, Jorgen was an obstacle. Right, this is done with pets, but there's this kind of like pre-Sebastian pet uh, heroes because you can't really, do, like I said, there was no pets back then either. We're going to speed this up, and we're just going to show you, get to where Fox almost kind of ults. This is why uh, Jorgen was so oppressive. Like, Jorgen dominated the metagame because he was just, he shut down, like, energy. is just pretty oppressive. But you can see all the missing, though. Like, you're just, you said, the enemy team can't really do damage because of the long duration blinds and stuff. But uh, Fox will do her ult here. Maybe we're getting Jorgen. Like I said, this is like Jorgen just there we go. So like so that's so now Astroth is gonna be stunned for like fifteen seconds. Right? So in theory this exposes Kark to be uh cut down by Ishmael. The problem is they have all this stuff happening and nothing much is really gonna happen. So that's like was her uh, problem in the old days was Jorgen pretty much prevented, you know, anything relevant happening. Like, even the best case scenario where you do get to push that out, like, Ishbel is probably the main, like, physical attacker. There was a time when Ishbel was actually pretty good and they nerfed him, but, right, like I said, so it's a, kind of been hard to um, make use of that heavy caliber ability. And, um, here's one, like, but if you replace Sebastian to block out Jorgen, this actually works. You'll actually get some decent results here. Right, this is also why Jorgen disappeared from the metagame, because Sebastian is that good. Like, Sebastian pushed Jorgen out of the metagame, which also pushed teams that ran, like, these grindy, like, stallout teams. Like, Astroth, Martha, plus Jorgen would force most teams to timeout like you just saw. Like, yo, like, I don't know. I've never been too big of a fan of Kark. I don't think Kark's... I've never... I mean, Kark's okay. I don't think he's ever been great. He's been an okay hero. But, like I said, he's, I would, like, feel, you know, but objectively these days he's bad. But see, now you push back Astaroth, right? And this allows Ishmael to go to work because, like I said, we don't have uh, Jorgen. Jorgen's not to be able to really do anything because of Sebastian. Right, this allows, like I said, this is what Fox is supposed to be able to do. Right, we killed, we actually killed Jorgen with Fox's ult. <laughs> Because Sastroth was still sitting back there after Kark died. And uh, we had a battle song crit. She critted with her thing, then, which triggered Sebastian's battle song, pure damage, which pretty much one shot at Jorgen. So we got this, and we're going to speed this up because this is just going to take a second here. All right. Boom. So that's that. Right? Fox, like I said, she actually does pretty decent damage herself. She can't do, like, Ishmael, but she's, like I said, she's a physical attacker. Um, she does crits and stuff, so she does pretty decent damage. Um, like I said, so, if, but here's the thing, though. Like, if you replace uh, Jorgen with Sebastian, which is kind of like her other problem, is that, well, Sebastian blocks uh, status effects, like stuns and blind. Like I said, we've, I've long said Sebastian's the best hero in the game because, well, he is. Like, he's just OP. Like, not only did he push Jorgen out of the game, he pushed other heroes out of the game. Like, it's just, like I said, different things. Like I said, she used her ult, nothing happened. I mean, did some damage, but Ode to Serenity blocks all the status effects. So now, Heavy Caliber just does damage. It doesn't push the main tank out. Um, Right, so you're pretty much just relying on Aurora to do AE or... Like I said, we have Axel here to kind of distribute damage, but Heavy Caliber, Fox is not doing a lot of stuff for this team. Like, yes, she's buffing Armor Pen, which does help out Ishmael, which is the main benefit she's going to provide in a team like this is buff is Armor Pen.
But uh, we're pretty much winning because Aurora is able to do a bunch of AE damage. Like, that's a pretty much the main theme here is we're AEing them to death. Like, Aurora's keeping the teapot off. Like I said, we're winning in spite of Fox, not because of Fox. Like I said, this, is, this fight's being won by almost entirely by Aurora. I mean, there's probably a good damage here from Ishmael and Sebastian, but Aurora's doing her AE stuff. Like, you have some of it's just uh, Bubbles of Justice distribu distribution, but this fight was kind of won in spite of Fox, not because of her. Yeah, and of course, obviously, Aurora would also be really oppressive versus Fox, and she can call, dodge uh, everything. Like, Aurora's just really oppressive physical attackers in general. Um, other heroes who are really good versus Fox, of course, are Zanvari. Zanvari, who prevents knockbacks and stuff. Um, right, he's really good. Of course, I mentioned Helios. Um, Aurora, Sebastian, Dante... Um, so there's just a lot of press. I mean, Amira would be good, too. Like, so there's just so much going against her. I mean, there's a lot going against physical attackers in general. I mean, I've mentioned this a few times. I'll have to do, like, I really do need to do, like, a full video. But physical attackers have this other issue. Like, their artifact buffs only add 21, 357 physical attack. Armor buffs add a full 32k. So a physical attack buff is not canceling out an armor buff the way magic penetration buffs. And magic attack buffs cancel out uh, and stuff, like, cancel out, like, magic defense. Because magic defense buffs are also 32k, but so is a magic attack buff. Whereas the armor buffs are 32k, but physical attack buffs are only 21, 357. Right, so the armor pen's 32k, but it's like, so physical attackers, they're just kind of hosed. Like, Nebula's Equilibrium adds less to physical attackers. So there's a lot of themes working against physical attackers. Um, like I said, so I'll have to probably do a video that, about that someday, but anyway, hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.